Hey guys, what's up? It's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Barbie Legacy Challenge. Today is going to be an exciting yet boring kind of day. Today we're just going to be grinding to get Rapunzel to an A student so we can age her up. Uh, that's literally all we're going to be doing because... Ooh, I got a snow. That's really all we're going to be doing um, because that's all we have to do. On top of that, we are moving today. I have decided to move to the three-story, but I'm in a little bit of a predicament. Uh, I don't know, actually. Now looking back on it, this house is way nicer. I'm gonna take you guys to the other house. I decorated it a little bit, but this one is just, the way it's laid out, it's nicer. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I'll take you guys there and I'll show you really quickly. It's kind of a bummer because the way it's set up, it's nice that we're the only person living there. Like this would be good too, like to move to these, to this one. This one would be really nice, but it's like the same kind of situation. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, you can kind of see I kind of decorated it here, but it's kind of just like so small. If you really look at it like this area is so tiny and we still have the same amount of bedrooms two bedrooms um the only plus is that there's this giant pool down here but it's like who really who really cares about that um but anyway i'll show you guys it right now okay so obviously i didn't do like a full renovation down here yet because it's the pool area and i don't really care about it i did some pink things um pink couches this this all right just the pool whatever what we do up here is where the issue lies it just seems so like dark and gloomy and i don't know it just seems 10 times smaller it does have this little outside area which is nice but it just seems like 10 times smaller doesn't it like they have this tiny kitchen and a tiny tiny front room and then even if we go upstairs, like, we still only have two bedrooms. This one being small as heck, and this one being, like, just a normal size. The bathroom is, I don't know, set up kind of weird. So it's kind of like the same thing. If anything, this one's smaller. The main area is smaller, which I don't love. Wait a minute. I, like, randomly went over here and looked at this spot. Look at this place. This is like a penthouse. Um, it looks like it's just all one person. The elevator comes up right here. What? What? I didn't even see the spot. And it holds a whole backyard. What? Oh my god, I think we're gonna move here. Whoa, I think I just decided. This is crazy nice. Wow. It's huge for no reason, but obviously we don't need a basketball court. Wow. You know what? Uh, Par deserves this. I never even noticed that place over there before. I think that's where we're going to be moving. All right, anyway, so I think that's where we're going to move. Problem is, I obviously didn't decorate it at all in the slightest. So we're going to move into it, and it's not going to be decorated. But I think you guys are fine with that. So let me start just putting stuff in our inventory, stuff that we want to bring. Honestly, I'm maybe an unpopular opinion. I don't love decorating the houses. I mean, I don't mind it, but once I've already decorated one, like I already decorated this one, I don't feel like doing it. I also would love to like have Barbie live with us, but I don't want to take her away from her family. So if she was like widowed and her kids were grown, then I would, but. This place is expensive. We still have 100K. We just won't be able to fill it up, but that's fine. It'll be empty, but that's fine. I'm going to sell everything anyway. So let's see what we're working with here. Oh my God, I don't remember how they set this up at all. I mean, I know that they had basketball court here. I should have left it how it was going in here and deleted some stuff because now I don't remember how it was set up. If you guys want to see like a separate video of me decorating like the final housing houses that they're going to be living in, oops, um, I can do it like separately kind of in a separate video. Otherwise, it's just too long. It adds like way too much time to the uh, episode so 
I'm gonna be cutting this out and then I will see you guys when I'm done. Alrighty you guys, 10 hours later, I have semi-finished, semi-finished the new penthouse here. Now listen, we are low on money. As you can see, we only have 35,000. We had like 50,000 when we moved in. But uh, I put the essentials in. I didn't decorate majority or any of the walls really. Um, this house was huge on top of it. And so it's, I tried to make it look as full as possible. I like the open look, but not too open. So this is the front room. This is previously the basketball court, if you recall. Um, it also bothers me that the pinks don't match, but I really liked this couch, but literally nothing else matched with this couch. Whatever, it's fine. I kept like the brick kind of style because we are in a penthouse. Like I said, I didn't decorate any of the walls or anything like that uh, yet because we were running low on money. I put our chess table here, just our basic living room set up, a little bed. Over here is the home gym. I didn't really know what to do here. I was going to separate the girls' room. So, well, the girls, I say. But I'm going to adopt, obviously, another child. Probably a girl for now. So, I just made this the little gym. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas of what to make this room. Maybe once Rapunzel becomes a teenager, maybe we'll figure out something else to do with it. Right now, it's just going to be that. I feel like every rich person has... A home gym and then same with over here i didn't really know what to do i had this was originally all one area and i was like that's way too wide open i don't know what else to do so i put this wall here and then yeah i did the front room and then i figured this pink piano was cute so i put that there some more stuff for chanel um i ended up putting some stuff out for the dog that we're gonna get little bookshelf uh yada 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 over here, I was wondering for so long what this room is, but it's literally like a pool view. So there's a pool up here and this is like the bottom of the pool that you could see through, which is kind of cool. I added this laundry room. Oh my God, I didn't do the inside. Let me fix that. Um, I added a laundry room. I hate doing the laundry, but we have a butler now. So I think it'll be interesting to give her some more stuff to do. Um, we have this awkward bathroom as well. Oh, it looks okay now, but it's so like long and oddly shaped. I just kind of threw it together girls room is crazy looking i tried to make it look like a little girls room that like oh their parents aren't around but their parents like buy them everything that they could possibly want and i feel like that's kind of how it looks like oh this big tent for it and a dollhouse and they got a hamster and a kitchen and desk bunk beds and toys and like it's just so, so much stuff laying around to try and keep them entertained so that's the kind of concept i was going for that the backyard, I didn't really do anything with. I just put some of these out, another yoga mat, grill, that, a little pink hot tub. I'm sure I'll add more later, but like I said, I was running out. Moving on to upstairs, we have... Uh, where does the stairs even come up at, actually? Right here. Okay, so up here we have the pool. It's a basic pool, whatever, some chairs. No big deal. Then we got the two little bowls for the cat and the dog i may get more than one cat more than one dog we'll see how it goes um i definitely only want to do two children so we got this fancy little tree in our house another cat tower i changed out all the doors it was a lot of work i won't lie um this area is also kind of empty-ish um i didn't do too much decorating like i said so it's kind of spread out wide here probably could cut this corner off with a tile we have the kitchen, and then we have a little bar over here. The walls, I said, like I said, are not decorated. Although she does have some stuff in here, if I recall. And then here's the master bedroom. Empty. Very, very empty. Um, trying to keep it casual. It's also a huge room for no reason, so. Tried to keep it bare minimum. The bathroom up here is cute. This is like the perfect size bathroom. Again. Little, little to no decor. Then over here, I made her office. Um, this was also open. I added this wall just to kind of break it up. This is what the outside looks like. It looks really cute. Like we're definitely a little bit broke, but she makes like six, she brings home like $6,000 a day. So we should build it up pretty quickly. I'll add more stuff in as we get more money and as we continue on, cause obviously things will be changing. But let me know what you guys think of the new house down below. Let me know if you think I should change anything. Let's get the day going. Go to the bathroom, girl. I shouldn't have to tell you what to do. I don't know where our butler is. I don't know if we still have a butler. 
I guess while we're at it, let's go ahead and do a little adoption. We want to adopt a, 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 a kid. Haley, perfect. Let's have Haley come over and we're going to adopt her. Girlie, did you do your homework? Okay, she went to go meet the child. Then, you know, we're gonna do it all. We're gonna get a dog because she's not gonna be a kid for much longer. So we wanna kinda get that over with. Not over with, but you know what I mean. Like, we wanna kinda. We're gonna be. Things are gonna be accelerated, is what I should say. <gasps> the orphanage would like to introduce Haley Roberts. Um, I think we just leave her name because she's a child and Haley's a cute name. And I like the way it's spelled. All right, we'll leave it. Let's see, Miss Girl, our new child. Oh, how cute. Hello, Haley. Welcome to the family. Oh, she wants to leave already. We're gonna immediately go and cast, and we're gonna give her a little bit of a makeover. Her eyes are crazy. We don't need the ombre color, we just need it. Yeah, that looks good. That, and then let's give her some better eyebrows. But let's give you an outfit. Um, as soon as you got into the house, the first thing we did was give her a whole pink wardrobe. But naturally, we're gonna be doing Oh, um, wait, I have Rapunzel in the school uniform, right? So we'll put her in the same one. All right, that's fine. And then let's give her one more outfit, and this will be just like a regular outfit. Uh, I don't know what to wear, though. I don't really have a lot of stuff for kids, I'm realizing. This is cute. So, um, because she's not the the heir, I, I don't think her traits really matter. I hate the gloomy trait. Like, no. I'm gonna change it. Oh! Animal enthusiast. So maybe her and her sister bond over that. There you go. Alright, girly, you need to do your homework, actually, if you don't mind. Something that needs to be done. Or is Rapunzel? Rapunzel's gonna go eat. Alright, that's fine. He's gonna go work out, apparently. Oh, that could be cute. Why don't we go ahead and do that? We're literally not doing anything else, so we might as well. Here's a little girl for you guys to meet. Friendly introduction. She's a bad influence, honestly, but... Oh, we're making friends! What's this girl's name? Harley. So we're running low on money, so let's call for a bonus. I think it went well. 3,000, I'll take it. Alright, everybody's back home. Festival of Snow. We met a couple friends. So I don't know if this is a glitch, but I sent her to work off hours. And she doesn't make any money. Is that supposed to be like that? Or is she supposed to be making money? Because I feel like she's supposed to make money. I'm also going to adopt a dog as soon... Probably like today, honestly. Where are you off to? Yeah, we could probably do that now. I mean, honestly, I kind of was going to wait until... Oh, how cute. I was gonna wait till Rapunzel was a teenager, but I figured it'd be cute if she has her a little bit when she's a child and there's a puppy, and then was the when the child when she becomes a teen, the dog kinda like grows up with her. That kind of sense. So let us uh, adopt. We're gonna adopt a dog. Let's see, who should we already right off the bat, I'm liking bubblegum. Henry is cute too. Ooh, Henry? I don't know. Something about Henry. An Alaskan Malamute. I feel like those kind of dogs are big. And I feel like a big dog is exactly the kind of dog Rapunzel would have. Because if you think about it, I feel like any other kind of dog. Like, Clara would have a tiny, like, little dainty chihuahua, right? That she would dress up. But I feel like Clara or Rapunzel loves animals. So those are the kind of people that have, like, the big dogs. That, like, jump all over them and, like, knock them over and stuff. So I feel like that is kind of what I'm going to go for here. <gasps> How cute is this dog? Eric, I feel like you would be involved in this. So get over here. Eh! Chanel! Where'd some Chanel just go? Chanel? Get back in the house, Chanel. Where's she going? Oh my god, I think Chanel's running away. I think she's liking Henry. Excuse you, Chanel. Stay in the house. Alright, let's adopt. So, Barbie and Rapunzel, from what I can see, 
doesn't she didn't have like any dog or cat but she did have kind of like a dragon friend named penelope so that's what we're gonna name henry <laughs> penelope we're gonna change it to a, gir a girl probably what is he doing what is he doing he's protesting how did he get involved in this the hamster wants some attention um am i able to put this dog into cast already or Okay, so this is Penelope. We're gonna make her a girl. Um, independent, sleuth, and friendly. Ooh, we should do one brown eye one. Bye. How cute. Um, well, we'll work. I wanna work more on it when um, she's an adult. But. Who's this? Barbie, why are you in our house? It's 1 a.m. Yeah, we're gonna be an elder in 27 days. Goodbye, Penelope. We will see you. Bye, everybody. All right, the girls are home from school. They both came home with a project. I don't know how she's still a C student, but okay. They are gonna be doing these projects because I want them to hurry up and age up. Earned a raise. Oh my God, Clara has earned a raise. Um, 17 hours, 70. $777 an hour and Eric has been promoted to department head so he makes 56 an hour good job everybody to be honest Hallie kind of just will fit, uh, follow Rapunzel if Hallie's not an A student it doesn't really matter Penelope I know you want their attention but they have to do work no why don't you go to bed let's call uh, Penelope to lay down and then go to sleep Cammy is conducting a Experiments on reaching escape velocity from its habitat. What? Penelope has learned to pee outside. Yay. All right, Rapunzel, do that homework, girl. Lonely recess. Last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Uh, uh ask other kids if you can join. Homework complete. Problem is, she's now not doesn't have any is not having any fun. So I'm hoping hoping that that doesn't affect her at school too. okay she's not too bad but she is tired which isn't good but hopefully all will be well at school today all right have fun at school kids when hallie gets to class she realizes her timeline is due the one that she was supposed to start weeks ago she has a tax paper piling up on a teacher's desk all she needs is a few minutes alone with one no she got a second chance ideally i'd like to start the next generation tomorrow our next episode. I thought it would be today, but we still haven't aged up. I want to do it when she ages up into a teenager. Grades are up. Haley is a B student, and Rapunzel is also a B student. Perfect. All right, first things first, Rapunzel, you need to come over here and give the doggo a treat, give the doggo a pet. What's with this hamster? Hamster is good. Give it a treat. 6216 today, 448 today. It. Hey, honey, it's dad. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You could at least drop by. Um, why don't you come over? Well, sure. If you got nothing else happening, I'll pop on by. I'll see you in a few. Okay, what do you got to do for work? Uh, research and debate. Why don't you go work on that then? You don't have to do anything for work because you are perfect. Tension is low here, so we're going to have her come talk to Hammy because she is the animal lover. I can't. I don't want to rely too much on Haley. All right, is this lady gonna do the laundry? Is she gonna do the laundry? Oh, she is? Look at her go. I didn't think she did the laundry. Okay, so Cameron's daughter, Angie, has aged up. She's cute. Miriam is now a high school student. Crazy, we might see her there. Ken Jr. is still very much single. Uh, Barbara is still in high school. These two are still children. And Luis Roberts it also has black hair. I mean, there must be a strand of black hair in the family genes, I guess. In an ideal world, I give them all a makeover. In the real world, will I? It's questionable, honestly. All right, Miss Girl. Did you do your homework? No. Go do your homework. You get up. Do your homework. Ooh. Clara earned 2000 from investing this week. Well, we invested 5000 so if we could get more back, that'd be great. Alrighty, guys, that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. Next time will be the first episode of the next gen. Officially, we should be aging her up next episode. I was going to do it this episode, but it's taking a little bit longer. I forgot about the whole weekend, and ugh, I'm going to get me started the weekend. Just set us back. 
But next episode, for sure, she'll be aging up into a teenager, which is so exciting because we'll be able to start going with her to school and start really working on that gen. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys know any mods or anything like that that maybe allow her to... I was thinking maybe like have something... I don't know. Now, this is possible because there is um there is a button in the game for volunteering i was thinking maybe in high school i can have her go and volunteer for at the animal shelter i don't know if that's one of the options or not but let me know if there's any mods you guys know of that would go good with the pet vet let me know what you guys think of our new penthouse obviously it still needs some work we're just a little bit low on money and i'm gonna get back to it later on so Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye Barbie!